Our journey begins early in the morning. We're in Magnolia right now, just about to meet up with center point crews that are working to install those new storm resistant poles. Those guys and gals, they get an early start leaving their office 630 in the morning. Arriving well before the summer sun beats down, center point crews already beating us to this Magnolia neighborhood. Today's job, taking out these old poles and installing new fiberglass poles. It's no easy task. I did that for two years. Meet Cody Preuss. He's been with CenterPoint since 1998, working his way up from a helper to training supervisor. I had a, a love for safety. He's seen the safe, unsafe, and every other challenge these guys and gals face daily. Installing a new power pole, it sounds like it's easy. You dig a hole, put it in there, and put the lines on it, but it's not all that cut and dry. Well, no, it's not. What they don't see is bad animals, yards, bad yards, trees, and vegetation that's in the way. On top of that, it's hot, like really hot. It can get miserable, yes. Cody, like many of these blue collar workers, lost power both during barrel and the derecho, leaving their families and homes to come turn power back on at yours. All right, this pulls in the ground and they still have some work to do to get the lines back on, but power in this Magnolia neighborhood will be turned back on pretty soon. So now we're gonna go back to Houston and take a look at how they're trimming up some of these trees. Workers like this are a very unique breed. That's no joke. High up in a little bucket, dancing around 35,000 volt lines, and to top it off, with feel like temperatures flirting with 110 degrees. They actually thrive on working near power lines. Everything these crews are doing is risky. Up there, and down here. If you're the person on the ground, you need to stay out of the work zone. Do you find that the community is grateful that they're thanking you for what you're doing? People are welcoming us many times, bringing out Gatorade and cookies for the tree crews. It's not all tough. There's rewarding parts of being a line worker, like restoring power to millions. But before you get there, you have to conquer what could be the toughest obstacle of all. I'm not gonna lie, it's terrifying up here. <laughs> Heights, powering up and down pools is part of the job. And for some, it's a deal breaker. Yes, it is a mental thing. Do you ever get scared when the bucket starts shaking around when you stop? I'll be honest with you, I didn't like this when I first started. I didn't. Maybe you get used to it, maybe you don't. But it's helping their neighbors, their city, that keeps these line workers climbing. It's a very rewarding career to be in. And it has been. I've loved it every minute of it. In Houston, Gates Golding, KPRC2 News.